Welcome to Cybos Daily Roundup. My name is Charlie Corbett. I'm economics editor at the Banker. I'm here now with uh, Tom Warsop, uh, Group President of Fiserv, uh, and Nick Wild, who's Managing Director for Asia Pacific Fiserv. Hi, guys. Um, let's get straight into it. What do you think, Tom, is the biggest issue at Cybos this year? Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, I, th I think it's uh, fairly clear that the almost all of the conversation that I've heard is around is the economy really coming back? Are we, are, have we seen the bottom and, and are we coming back? And I thought the, uh, the opening plenary session was interesting yesterday because we got a variety of opinions, but I think overall if you, if you kind of back away, it, uh, they, were, they were aligned and, and I think people are saying, uh, you know, to, to, to use a medical analogy, they were saying we're out of the operating theater, but we're still in the hospital. I think that's right. I think we've seen some level of improvement. I think there's a lot more to go. Uh, having Saibos in Asia this year is interesting because I think it's quite clear that Asia has fared better than most other parts of the world. Um, but it, I think the, the dialogue that we're having here about what has happened, what we've learned from it, and uh, how we can work together, and I think that's another key is the collaboration across the industry, both you know, financial institutions, providers, stakeholders of all types, uh, working together, what can we do to make, make this better and to prevent things in the future, to, uh, to really explore uh, much deeper collaboration and understanding uh, across the whole industry is pretty exciting. And I, that's kind of what I've heard over the, over the first day and a half. Great. Thanks, Tom. Uh, now on to Nick. Um, I'd like to get a sense of how you feel Cybos is different to last year. Um, do, you, do you think it's a, a do you, do, does it feel smaller? Is it more subdued? Is this the credit crunch Cybos? And also as head of Asia Pacific, it'd be good to get your thoughts on why this year it's in Asia, following up on what uh, Tom said. So uh, I'm going to struggle a little bit with the first part of your question because I didn't actually come to Cybos um, last time. But I, I will say that um, what, what I have observed here is it, it is, and the commentary that I've heard is it is slightly smaller uh, than the last one. Um, in terms of the, uh, the conversations we're having in, uh, and certainly in, my, in, the, in the Asian region, um, I, think, uh, I think risk uh, is, is very much part of the conversation but not in the same way I'm, I'm, I've just moved here from the US not in the same way as perhaps it has been in the US I mean I think the Asian um, banking community learned a lot of its lessons in the Asian banking crisis so and and had obviously learned those lessons well what we're seeing in Asia is the result of the economic downturn rather than any any uh, risk management uh, issues um, that being said um, the Asian banks are definitely looking to, to uh, the Western world to see if there's anything else they, they need to learn. So there's a lot of that around. What we are still having conversations around, and in fact they, they're picking up far more, is Asian banks looking at this as an opportunity. I mean, as we see some of the big international, multinational banks pull out, you're seeing some of the super regional and some of the larger um, regional banks um, see this as an opportunity to regain market share that they had lost. And they're trying to turn, they're really trying to turn the, the, the customer centric um, brand message, if you like, that we've all had for years and years into, uh, into to action, tangible action. What does that really mean? How do we really go and win more share of, of the wallet? How do we build the walls around so that when the economy comes back, um, either the, the, the international banks or, or non traditional operators can't come in and, and, and take us out the, the way they did the last time? So, um, still very much a customer and channels. Um, focus as well as, uh, as as well as I say, nobody's going to ignore risk in the current in the current environment. Thanks, Nick. And and finally, um, Tom, why are you here? You're you're president of Fiserv. Why does Fiserv come to Cybos? What do you hope to achieve this year? Charlie, the, Fiserv is a is a very significant player in the financial services industry globally. We have a much larger presence in the United States than than outside. Um, we we look at Cybos as uh, almost certainly the largest gathering of bankers at w in one place that are focused on payments, risk, uh, many of the areas that Fiserv is is absolutely focused on uh, around the world. So to have over five thousand uh, of our colleagues in one place at one time is irresistible, and uh, it's really a, a 
a venue where you can have discussions around the, the topics that are most uh, most important to the industry, and and we use it as an opportunity to uh, to launch some uh, some new products, to talk about some of the successes that we've had, and to get feedback from our clients, our potential clients, colleagues in the industry about where things are going, so we can start to think about what do we do next, and so all of those things make it an you know an unmissable stop. For us, it's uh, it's the biggest effort that we put into a, a trade show type of event anywhere in the world, and uh, we're going to continue to do it because I think we're seeing a lot of value from it. Great, um, Tom, Nick, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.